participate and agree to experiment to bind a super strong polymer to his skin and augment strength and speed and that's how he became a rhino with money as his motivation he became a career criminal knocking down his opponents and frequently being bested by amazing spider-man in some form of fashion imagine being a russian thug mutated by scientists he's one of those characters where he's like a rogue gallery villain for spider-man spider-man has defeated him on occasions in the past the man before becoming Rhino was a small time muscle man who worked miscellaneous jobs for professional criminals and stuff. He was hired by foreign spies and subject to experiment to develop a superhumanly powerful assassin. They selected him because of his natural muscular physique more than everybody else and he had low level intelligence which would help his loyalty. He was subjected to several months of chemical radiation type treatments which ultimately granted him superhuman strength. In the meantime, had developed the material extraordinary toughness and coarseness like rhinoceros, hide, and fabricated a skin-type bodysuit out of it. He was given the code name Rhino. Part of the reason why he's so strong is because he has similarities to Hulk when it comes to gamma ray bombardments. He's one of those characters that's kind of like a brute specializing type of physical strength type character. The suit is made for him and is made to where it won't break down from acid. One could say he's went through changes or evolutions over the years because during some of his defeats, Spider-Man actually dissolved his outfit and stuff. We know he's consistently bulletproof, but we know in brute strength, he's also physically above Spider-Man, but his intelligence is probably his main weakness. They say he got the strength of a rhinoceros, which should technically be an oversimplification. I think the main thing is that he lacks the durability because that's the whole reason of him wearing this protective skin. Because he has the strength, he just might not have the durability to match up quite a bit. It's this particular occasion, if you was wondering about Spider-Man and Rhino, Spider-Man's here can still knock him out. But without further ado, how strong is Rhino? There are times when Spider-Man strong as blows can't phase him, even in battle suit type stuff. Even stating he's too strong. Being able to do this to classic Hulk, charges against the thing and sends him flying, rips through metal pillars, heavy doors like this. He simply takes down by charging into it. Even Juggernaut, when he's not at his full power, his horns can pierce beings like Juggernaut with his horns. Like, his horns seem to have ridiculous. His horns seem to be ridiculously dangerous. Don't you love it when they have off-screen fights? I hate this, but this is what happened when Rhino and Spider-Man fought off-screen. Even super heavyweights like Nova, he collapses the street. Not only that, but punches Nova into freaking orbit with his punching power. Dang near close to choking Spider-Man out here in this particular occasion. Spider-Man couldn't just push him off of him because of his brute power. Not afraid of collapsing entire buildings. Rips off Scorpion's tail. Sandman, somebody that can't really be hit by physical attacks. He just smashes him into dust with his strikes here. Useless cloud of sand, they say. And his mini fights with Spider-Man hitting him here. Bringing him to his knees in pain. Saying he felt like he got hit by a stone wall. Christmas time, sending Grey Hulk flying. His horn can pierce Grey Hulk as well. So yeah, his horn's pretty freaking overpowered. Lower tier Gamma family members like Doc Samson. He strikes. He's not afraid to come up to a train. Literally derail it and smack it to the side. Older base Iron Man armors have a tough time holding him down. It takes all his strength to hold him down for a little while. He has no problems with destroying carts. In this case with Hulk, he smashed a roof on Hulk. There was even a time where there was a new Rhino that was trying to take the scene. I could allow the real Rhino right here. Looks like Kingpin a little bit here, but that's none of my business. And that's when the new Rhino coming on the scene with this epic looking suit. Old Rhino, new Rhino with a little melee weapon. There was a point where the old Rhino wanted to start off on a new leaf of life and wasn't wearing the Rhino suit, but this new Rhino coming into play kind of forced him to make a comeback. And Spider-Man was worried about him, about going back to that old life with that suit back on. It could give people PTSD about him being the Rhino again and stuff. But he had to do what he had to do, facing off against the new Rhino. He just kind of curb stomped him off of like really one attack. Talking about system damage repairing, asking for God help me. Rhino's about to mess him up, the main one. He just comes up to him and blitzes him. And it's that simple. The new Rhino is dead. Notice how Rhino just casually destroyed a building, taking out the other Rhino. You know Rhino is definitely considerably stronger than a base Spider-Man as if he had to make armor specifically for him. Tore through the suit specially for him, and he's ripping through it. Rockets seem to only tickle him. Of course, gunfires ain't gonna cut it. Brute powerhouses are playing baseball together. This is ridiculous. This is Rhino without armor getting hit by Hulk. Taking hits from a Gamma. Calm Hulk level being like Doc Samson to the face. And had a apparent battle with Hulk that lasts for days. A character I have a a video about on the channel known as the leader was simply brainstorming ideas and was analyzing the Hulk's old battles because he was trying to find a match for the Hulk's strength. That's when he came up with the idea with a being like Rhino who he believes as smart as he is he believes 
he has the strength, strong and stupid, to take on a character like the Hulk. It was believed that Rhino was dead, died in a supposed fire, okay, during one of his battles with the Hulk. Thanks to treatment from characters like the leader, who's super smart in his own right, he got amplified. That's where he became amplified stronger and faster than ever before, so he can take on the Hulk, thanks to the leader, Amped. In this occasion, when you look at the panel for panel fight with Hulk and Rhino, context-wise, it looks like there's a decent gap in strength between Rhino and the Hulk, so like the Hulk has the advantage still. But however, when we look at other scenarios, that are not scenarios like this where Rhino got like bested. This is where Rhino got caught and that's where they thought he died in the first place and stuff. Hulk didn't let him die and stuff. But when they had a rematch, this is after the leader amplification helping him and getting his power back and stuff like that with his new suit. He kind of got a good advantage over the Hulk here thanks to his horn punching and trapping him under all this rubble right here and etc. And then you got a case like this when he battles him for days. Even hits from She-Hulk, he takes hits from and still keeps fighting. Repulsor Blast from Iron Man even hitting him here. But he still withstood some blasts. Even withstanding bullets without his suit. Takes being rammed by awesome Andy. The fact he's not wearing a suit and he gets smacked by the new Rhino and he's okay showing his superhuman durability. Even being slammed with the force of a thousand pile drivers. He's still able to kind of sit up again afterwards. If that makes sense and continue trying to fight back. Captain America punching Rhino. Ends up bruising his own hand. Stupid tear gas won't work on him. Let's talk about his fights with Spider-Man. You're probably wondering, why is Rhino a match for Spider-Man and we be seeing him fight Hulk? Well, let's break it down like this, shall we? Let's look at his fight for panel for panel and you can see context on how the fight goes. It's easy to misinterpret these scans and say this is just terrible writing or inconsistency for Rhino, but when you look at it, Spider-Man's never really portrayed to be on his strength class. Spider-Man even says he doesn't even look like he's hurt just madder than ever. Spider-Man even says he didn't seem to feel his hit. Spider-Man hurt his hand punching Rhino. It's his speed agility that allows him to stay in the fight, saying his strength can never match his spider speed. So even in these fights, even though the battle may look deceivingly good, it's really just Spider-Man dodging, hitting him with him not really feeling the attack, having him ram into different things after he jumps out of the way at the last second, just making a fool of him thanks to his combat speed, intelligence, and etc. This is their very first fight, by the way, Rhino versus Spider-Man. Spider-Man had to use strategy and tactics to make him tired or slow him down. I mean, when you got a case like this versus Scorpion, that's something you also got to respect somebody that's a Spider-Man tier. I have a video about Scorpion strength level on my channel anyway. The thing he lacks is intelligence, but when it comes to brute strength, you don't want to fight him in the context of brute strength. You want to use the environment to your advantage, outsmart him, take his suit off, stuff like that. That's evident here against Scorpion. Look in this occasion with Rhino versus Spider-Man and another character. See, all they do is just like avoid his attacks to have him ram into other stuff. You don't really see them battle him in like a contest of brute strength. You just see him from an angle where he's not expecting, to knock him off balance, similar things like that. As you can see here, more outsmarting you can tell. These battles are really smartly done and executed and it's very rarely just a blow for blow fight straight up with fists with Rhino, with Spider-Man and him. Hey, these two are even working together with their blasts. Then in this occasion, he just simply leaves. I'm booked out of here even in their very first appearances the portrayal of power seems to be a, a decent gap in just raw strength between rhino and spidey even almost broke his hand punching rhino spider-man somehow catches him off balance here to somehow take advantage of how tired he's getting so he did have enough strength to hurt a tired rhino i guess to the point where he actually passes out and gets sleepy this way so he has gotten KO'd on rhino but with strong context guys he's one of those characters that's extremely hard to rank but i definitely say he's above the symbiote or spider tier when it comes to brute strength and the thing about Rhino, he's not like a god of speed or nothing. It's still worth knowing that he can outrun a freaking train, though. Like, you see this cat running up here, right? And he's just literally walking it down. Seems to be decently nimble. They say he moves like a missile. It's easy to underestimate bulky characters like this. Spider-Man even brings up his speed again. Says he forgot how fast he is. That's part of the reason why he can tag Spider-Man. Low-level Hulk-level beings like Doc Samson even talk about how fast he is. Super soldier tiers like Silver Sable. Rhino's fast enough to tag her. Spider-Man even says it yet again, he's stronger than him, <laughs> it's, it's too much proof of it. She even says we're both faster, but yeah, he proved her wrong, like he still can tag you even though y'all think y'all might be faster. It's actually been addressed in comments on why characters like Spider-Man can even get victories on him. Spider-Man states that guys like Rhino make his heart skip a beat, Spidey even says he fears him. Of course they don't mean literally 80 tons is his limit, but you can get an idea of what they mean by the strength classes. Back in the day they used to label strength classes like a ton system. You know, Hulk and Thor and them are considered like 100 ton class characters, and he's 
he's still considered an 80 ton class carrier. So they saying he's below their tier in raw strength, but he's above a 10 ton class system, even though Spider-Man can lift more than 10 tons too. But they're trying to say he's clearly vastly stronger than Spider-Man physically. Spider-Man talks about how he's gotten victories over him, but it wasn't because of strength. It was because of different things in the occasion. Saying he was lucky that he was prepared beforehand, saying like he had prep time, the reason why he was even able to get victories on Rhino. In this particular occasion, he's actually starting to wonder where the cops are. Just kind of let you know out of all the years, you can't really underestimate Rhino for losing considering that Spider-Man kind of explained why he was winning. It just kind of lets you know that through all the years, he was always meant to be above Spider-Man. And it's not because of just brute strength, the reason why Spider-Man can get victories on him. As far as I can see, this is how it will go with Rhino in the power hierarchy of Marvel. Of course, all this ain't Bible, but this is how I see it. You know, he's above super soldiers, stronger than Spider-Man physically, but below like the super duper heavyweights of Marvel, like Marvel Thor and stuff like that when it comes up here physicals. But that's just how I see it. But all this could be just me. How strong do you think Rhino is? Do you think the writers have a problem making up their mind on what tier they want him in? I think he's a bruiser, but he's not like the god gods. You know what I mean? If that makes sense. Spider-Man even admitted that he's stronger than him multiple times in multiple comic panels, making a battle suit for him and everything. It's just common sense at this point. What do you guys think? I also want to give a quick shout out to those that took the time to donate to the channel. Helps out a lot. Respect Rhino though. I'm glad you are enjoying your time on the channel. Make sure you check out the playlist on the channel to see other How Strong videos. If you like what this channel is offering, make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys later.